Hi, welcome to our optimization class. I'm Andrew Ross. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in California. I went to college and grad school in California. I've been here at Eastern for about 15 years and I really like it. Uh, my PhD is in Industrial Engineering and Operations Research. That's I-E-O-R, mostly O-R, Operations Research. OR is the applied math of how businesses, governments, hospitals, etc. can run their operations. And that's a big focus here in our class. We'll be talking about operations research a lot. I'm also one of the lead EMU faculty in our new data science program. I'm one of the advisors. It's an undergrad program, but I try to work some data science into all the classes that I teach. Uh, data science is the intersection of computer science and statistics and some business knowledge. That's the analytics part. Um, and uh, machine learning and deep learning, all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll be talking about that more. Uh, I like applications in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, medicine, humanities. I'm interested in the ethics of STEM subjects and data science in particular. Like how can we make sure that people aren't being discriminated against by all these fancy new artificial intelligence things or even old fashioned statistics? And more important than that, how can we be sure we're using artificial intelligence in the most helpful way, not just solving the problems that the AI researchers see, but the problems that actually exist on the ground for the people who have the most problems. Um, so we'll be talking about that in the class too. This is a fairly technology heavy class because that's what it takes to get things done in business and industry and government and stuff. We'll be using spreadsheets a lot and even some Python, but I'm going to give you lots of starter material to start with on the, on the Python to modify and build on and in Excel too, uh, rather than having to start from nothing. Uh, I'm really hoping this class widens your horizons about what math is and what math can do or help with in the real world. And that can mean that this class doesn't always feel like the other math classes you've, you're used to, uh, since we'll be in really unfamiliar territory for a lot of people. That's okay, just go with it and ask lots of questions. Um, as you're watching videos and doing homeworks and stuff, uh, contact me the minute something is stumping you or uh, you're not sure what to do next. I just don't want you spinning your wheels and feeling frustrated. Uh, it could be in the middle of a video. You could just pause it and email me and maybe paste in the URL and say, here at this time in this video, what did you mean by that? And I'll get back to you pretty quickly usually. Um, so uh, in the next video I'm going to talk about, or next set of videos, I'm going to talk about a lot of different optimization problems to set the stage for our semester, even before we talk about syllabus and homeworks and stuff like that. Uh, some of these problems I'm going to talk about are simple enough to be a homework problem eventually, uh, not the first week, uh, while others are harder and are good material for one of the projects that we do in class, and some of them might even be too hard for that, uh, and telling the difference between different levels of difficulty is part of the fun. So here we go with a bunch of different uh, optimization problems.